Mean Time. Minasan konnichiwa yorubun, annyeong hi everyone, this is Leo for Asia on Air, the ultimate channel for all K-music and J-music lovers. I'll talk about Maria Takeuchi and plastic love, don't worry, but before that I would like to serve myself a whiskey if you don't mind, because I think it's a great occasion today. Uh, I don't do this often, you know, reacting to one of the most famous songs ever. So what I have here is a Togochi, uh, a blended, Japanese blended whiskey. I never tried it before, so I'm gonna react to it live as well. It's finished in a sake cask. There is a French text written on it which says Pensez de Pascal chapitre 2, Misère de l'homme sans Dieu. Trop et trop peu de vin, ne lui en donnez pas, il ne peut trouver la vérité. Donnez-lui en trop de même. I love that. They translated uh, the text in Japanese as well. Basically, it means that if you give too much wine to man, he cannot find the truth. But if you don't give him enough, he cannot find the truth, neither. It does, it does smell like a blended one. Usually I'm more into single, single malts, but uh, we never know, let's try this. Oh, the color is very transparent. All right, that should be enough for now. And I even brought some, uh, not ice cubes, but this kind of, weird cubes that are here to to keep the whiskey cold without adding any dilution. It's the first time I tried this as well. I think it comes from uh, the northern countries in Europe, like Sweden or Finland. Finland, I forgot. I, I usually like to add a little bit of dilution in my whiskeys, but let's try this. Uh, I kept it in the freezer these cubes, so it's supposed to to make the whiskey colder. It reminds me of a whiskey, which one? Nikka, it reminds me of Nikka whiskey. Another Japanese one. That does the job. Okay, I'll keep that for my reaction. So yeah, today I'm talking about Maria Takeuchi's Plastic Love. It's a song that has been released in 84. It was included in Maria Takeuchi's album called Var Variety. Knowing that Maria Takeuchi is active since 78 uh, and uh, she has been released many albums, I still have a lot of work to do in order to catch up all what I still don't know about her. Because, uh, you know, recently I have been uh, shooting uh, and I'm uh, editing right now a huge video, a huge retrospective of Akina Nakamori, uh, who is a singer from the 80s uh, in Japan. And some songs of Akina Nakamori have been uh, composed by Maria Takeuchi and they are really great. So that's why I'm really getting interest more and more into uh, the works of Maria Takeuchi. And the thing with this song, Plastic Love, is that it has been reissued recently by Warner as a vinyl, a 45 revolutions per minute vinyl. And uh, from what I see here, Everything is written in English, except the sticker here. Everything is written in English behind as well. Uh, so that's why I'm wondering if the Japanese customers are getting the exact same item that what I got. Uh, I bought it on hmv.co.jp and this is what I got and I also have this which is uh, the like case for the 
extended club mix version that has been released in 85 as a 33 revolutions per minute vinyl. So it's a single, only A side, B side, two songs, the extended mix and the original version. Here we go. Moon Records being the label. And it's produced by the great Tatsuro Yamashita. Uh, I really recommend all the songs of Tatsuro. Uh, he's also the husband of Maria, by the way. And fun fact, I was mentioning it in a recent news. Uh, actually, the cover art of this reissue is very interesting because uh, I think many of you already saw the video on YouTube of Plastic Love. This is the image that we got uh, for the song, but actually it comes from another single by Maria called uh, Sweetest Music. Uh, it never had been uh, linked one way or another to Plastic Love until the video got uploaded on YouTube with this image. Uh, and it's fun to, to realize that uh, Warner actually used this picture to make the reissue like they officially used this picture. So that's very surprising. And this is to show you how powerful YouTube can be to influence the real uh, disc industry. What I'm gonna try to do uh, in this video, basically I'm gonna try to understand why Plastic Love is so good. Why Plastic Love is so famous? What makes this song so special? I want to understand and we'll try to understand together. For that, I'm gonna use the recent music video that has been uploaded by Warner as well. It's the official, finally the official music video for Plastic Love. Uh, it's a music video that has been made by Kyotaro Hayashi. Kyotaro Hayashi, who also made other music videos by uh, IG-1, uh, Rad Wimps, Mistle Children, etc, etc. So, we actually had already the short version of the music video two years earlier and now we finally have the long version. Actually, the first time I listened to Plastic Love, uh, it was a remix of Night Tempo. Night Tempo, who is a really great remixer from uh, South Korea. And uh, I made a couple of reactions of his last works great ones, I recommend it. And since then I got into the original version and I realized that many people uh, covered the song because it's so famous, it's so good. We had Isle, which was a very nice version, a kind of lo-fi, chill version that was really good. And recently we also got Juice Juice, which is a J-pop girl band. I like the version because it sounds original. It sounds like Plastic Love has been composed for them, and so the arrangement is really well made. And the music video is cool. I just find it a little bit slow, maybe a bit too slow. Other than that, I remember seeing the cover of Yukika, the great Yukika, uh, who is having her career in South Korea now. Uh, it's just a video that she shot uh, in her room, and uh, she's interpreting it very well. Actually, I think just like many of you, I guess, and many of uh, the people who are in City Pop today, this song got me into City Pop. It was kind of my entrance ticket for City Pop. For the people who don't know what City Pop is, ah, it's a bit tricky to define what is City Pop because uh, it's a music genre which includes various sub-genres. So basically I would say that City Pop is Japanese funk or Japanese pop music from the 80s, from the Showa era. Uh, that makes you feel nostalgic of a time that you wouldn't especially knew about. Uh, like for example, I'm born in France in the 90s, but when I listen to City Pop, when I listen to City Pop, I feel like I'm living in Japan during the 80s. So this is really special. It's a really time traveling uh, music genre, which has many influences, uh, funk, soul, uh, even jazz, even Caribbean music when you hear sometimes steel band being used. 
And when it comes to the instruments, for example, the bell synth is really characteristic of uh, City Pop. You have the slapping bass as well. And if I want to get a bit technical, I would even say that the, for example, the syncope rhythm is used a lot. Uh, you know, the syncope is doing like to that, that, to that, that. So, for example, a four measure would be so that makes the rhythm really bouncy really dynamic so you never get bored listening to city pop as well there is a lot of chords using the seventh note and the ninth note so that's why it sounds complex rich and in the same time airy uh, like breathy you know it makes you feel relaxed so that's why also i would define the city pop vibe as something that you would definitely listen uh, driving by the seaside or uh, by night as well or even roaming in the cities by night for example Tokyo or Seoul because there is Korean city pop as well and Maria Takeuchi the lady we are gonna talk about today is probably the most famous uh, representative of city pop she is not only a singer she's also a composer and a lyricist so very talented i think the introduction is enough for now right uh, let's do this right now plastic love by maria takeuchi <laughs> If you don't mind, I will try to focus on the video for the first run and then on the music. It's gonna be easier for me like this. Look at that. I forgot to mention it, but the um, City Pop is also focusing a lot on. Uh, the details that you find in the city. Uh, in most of the songs, you have some d details about uh, someone having a cocktail or someone walking in a train station or on the street. And you have also this obsession for the Tokyo Tower. You know, the Tokyo Tower is always somewhere in a city pop song, or kind of, which I totally understand. Look at that. First of all, I like the flare effect uh, they put on the lights. Um, that makes it reminiscent of the 80s videos. The actress, I don't know who she is, but she's really pretty. And I think she might be half, I'm not sure. She looks like half Japanese and half something else, I don't know. So just to to link the music video story to the lyrics, I'm gonna tell you the what the lyrics are about. So basically, this song is about a girl who is having uh, like love stories with several guys, but she's not really into it. You know, it's just plastic love because she's. Uh, really regretting a real love story that she had before. She's remembering of this soulmate that she uh, lost. And this is why she cannot really get into a relationship. So what she does is just playing. And uh, I totally understand this. Uh, I can tell you that once you lose your soulmate, you kind of become unable to to feel the same thing again, you know, you kind of become emotionally disabled 
uh, you have yeah, you are blocked you know you cannot feel the same love anymore and i totally understand the feeling that's why the lyrics are interesting when you read for ex for example um I've been hurt in love ever since that day. I've been living with my days and nights switched while I had spent my nights dancing till morning in fashionable disco clubs. And then never love me seriously. Love is just a game. If I'm having fun, then it's okay. Fancy dresses and heels are like friends that decorate my closed hurt in my loneliness. So yeah, you are kind of, it's kind of a, a tragedy uh, not to be able to love any, anyone anymore, you know? Ironically, every guy who asks me out resembles him. And yeah, you cannot, stop remembering this person and comparing everybody to this person and even though you you might meet the greatest person on earth if it's still not the person that you really matched with something is missing you know it's kind of a curse that's horrible and the interesting part as well is when she says um, if I suddenly drop my glass on the floor and burst into tears, please don't ask me why. And that's interesting because in the music video that I've uh, watched already, I've seen it already, this scene is happening. She's dropping her glass on the floor. And eventually she says... Even if a voice whisper to you that I'm a woman cold as ice, don't worry. So yeah, now you see what's the story of the song. And I like the fact that uh, the music video is relating to it directly. So moral of the story, don't play, don't waste your time with useless love stories. Um, as soon as you meet someone who may be good enough, stick with this person and make children, period. Because if you miss the occasion, you might regret it. All right. I love the colors. And the color grading, that's really cool. They could create a real ambience, you know. What are you doing, guy? What are you doing? What are you looking at? Come on. I understand you. So yeah, you have this girl who is... like... Uh, brought into a hotel by this guy, but... Her eyes look, look dead, you know? She's kind of dead inside. And this guy who is working the hotel seems to have a crush on her. Now the question is, did they meet already before? Did they knew each other? Are they already soulmates? Or is it the first time they meet? I don't know. Nice ice ball, by the way. Margarita and whiskey? But, and I have never seen a transparent margarita, except maybe with a kind of infused stuff that we get nowadays. Boom.
uh, the shot in the car is really really good uh, I wonder if they put a lighting like an artificial one or if it's just if we can call it this way a natural lighting a natural lighting coming from the, the lights of the city which would be really interesting and totally adapted for a city pop song but anyway that looks grand Can I play this again? <laughs> like the drum break, man. Again, again. Oh man. I love this break. She's kind of realizing that sh like this love story is totally meaningless. This bar looks cool. This bar looks cool. Brookladic, Tariske, Macallan. This looks like monkey shoulder, but I'm not sure. Either here or here, Lafroig maybe, Valentine's, Johnny Walker, Yellow Chartreuse, Green Chartreuse, Pernod Ricard, Jet 27, Jet 31, The Creeper, Liquors, Tizarono, Amaretto, Grand Marnier. That's uh, what we call the authentic bar in Japan with all the, um, the classic bottles and yeah he doesn't want to lose her from his sight I'm just wondering something, is it legal to run after a girl, to chase after her by night when she's walking alone? <laughs> is it legal? I think in Japan it's okay, but if you do this in France, you'll have big troubles. And we finally have the in sound. This shot is really cool. I like the framing. That's so cute and cheesy. This is what I call hospitality. This is what I call hospitality. Very professional, like this guy is taking care of the customer until the end, until he's sure that the customer is Probably lying on his bed, naked. <laughs> I like that. When you work in uh, food and beverage, you have to be very professional and take care of the customer until the very end, as far as you must go. I like this. <laughs> okay, so if you don't mind, I would like to replay this. Um, I think I'll keep the video, uh, but I would like to focus on the music now because there are many stuff to say and we still don't understand why Plastic Love got so famous. So let's do this.
Well, I think first of all the the formula of the bass plus the pizzicato guitar. Uh, this pizzicato guitar, which is really representative of the eighties, is a perfect formula, and I think this is a key of this song. And then uh, it's like you have to pay attention to it, but the bell that we hear, maybe the drummer is playing the bell, that's really cool, and it's something that totally sounds like Plastic Love. Get -a -get, get -a -get. At the end of the measure, that's really cool. And it's gonna be played by the trumpets as well later. Yeah, the bass. And by the way, the bass, what is playing the bass is uh, interesting because it does uh, Sol, Do, La, uh, and Re, if I'm not mistaken. Sol, Dun, 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 Sol, Do, La, Re. So it's 4, 7, 5, 1. 4, 7, 5, 1. And this uh, chords pattern uh, that is played also by the piano and the bell synth, uh, by the way, Tatsuro Yamashita is playing the piano and the electric guitar in this song. So this chord progression pattern that we hear almost throughout the whole song uh, for the verse and the, the last part as well, the outro, this is, I think, a really key thing in this song because it sounds complete and you could totally play this chord pattern forever. And now, now when it comes to the melody, the melody is really cool as well. It's a question followed by an answer. Question, answer. La 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 la. Question. La 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 la. Answer. So that sounds really logical and natural. And if you pair this logical melody, question, answer, with this closed chords progression pattern that makes a very uh, logical song that f makes me feel like a square you know it's perfect like a square everything is logical and it's easy it's something reachable for uh, a wide audience so that's why i think this song is perfect to enter the city pop world because it's an easy song. It sounds natural to the ear and uh, it sounds cool. And the fun thing as well is that you can totally dance on this song, but in the same time, you can chill. It's dancing and chill in the same time. It's something really hard to make, I think, as a composer. That's really a genius mark of Tatsuru Yamashita and Maria. And of course, a lot of chords are using the seventh note and the ninth note, as we were mentioning it before. This one. And the violins are primordial in the song as well. They give uh, a dramatic side to the song and um, an elegance as well now I would like to a few words about the way Maria Takeuchi has to sing. Um, for me, the most 
charming point of her singing is the fact that she has a slight smile on the side of her mouth when she sings. I can, we can hear it uh, when, you, when we hear her singing. And in all of the songs she sings, she has this smile that we can hear. And that brings a real positivity, a real brightness to every song she sings. And I think that's very interesting because even in the saddest songs she has been uh, singing, that brings, if not happiness, at least a little bit of hope in what she sings. For example, the song Eki, which I really recommend to you, uh, she has this slight smile on the mouth and it gives you hope. That's really interesting. And that's why I prefer the version of Eki sung by Maria rather than Akina Nakamori's one. Uh, even though I'm like a big stan of Akina Nakamori, but I have to respect the fact that uh, Maria is bringing a, a bit of, um, I would say, contrast between uh, sadness and hope. That's very interesting. And like her tempo, man, her tempo is on point. Oh, it's not here. <laughs> guitar solo and this guitar solo, man, it's amazing. And the interesting uh, thing here is that the last part is all in English, which makes it an international song. And that's also why I think it has been working so well internationally. It's helping. Now, uh, when it comes to Maria's voice, especially here when she's uh, backed, doubled, by the way the chords are very well composed, uh, the, the effects they put on her voice are pretty strong. I'm not sure to be qualified uh, to define exactly what it is, I should ask an audio engineer. But I think they put maybe the, the delay or the reverb, like, very strong. Anyway, I like the music video. I think it's fitting the story of the song and even the mood. I think it's a good illustration. I maybe could have hoped for something more in the spirit of the 80s, but that's cool. And uh, it's kind of... Uh, making another and other revival of this legendary song so i won't say no to it so i think we kind of have our answers why this song did work so much uh, you have this international touch at the end and uh, the composition is grand and you have this perfect circle which sounds logical when it comes to the uh, to the chord progression and the melody it's really reachable, easy to understand, and uh, you could you could definitely play this forever. Now I have one question. Can you say what is the chorus of Plastic Love? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what is the chorus of Plastic Love. When I think about it, when I think about the structure of the song, it's actually not that easy. So. You have the verse. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 Then you have a second part to the verse. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Which actually have a little bit of a taste of a pre-chorus, but uh, it's not. It's simply the second part of the verse. Then you have the second verse. 
again the second part of the verse and then you have the real pre-chorus uh, especially knowing that the bass is playing a suspension uh, note so that's why it's like none of all what I've said until here are the chorus definitely and then you have the guitar solo surprisingly which sounds really cool but it's surprising you know and then again the pre-chorus another pre-chorus and then the third verse so basically we are still not hearing any chorus until maybe the very end of the song which i would consider being actually an outro so basically all the english lyrics uh, i'm just playing games i know that's plastic love dance to the plastic beat another morning comes this last part now the question is is, the, is this last part a real chorus that we hear at the very end of the song and especially knowing that there isn't really a leading voice it's mainly quas or is this just an outro to the song and in that case that would mean that this song doesn't have any chorus man that would be surprising uh, so yeah i have a question for you guys what do you consider being the chorus of plastic love uh, for me three there are three uh, possibilities either the last part which i consider being the outro is the real chorus either there is no chorus either maybe the verse would be a kind of a chorus because this is what we remind the most when we think about this song right la 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 la, la. this is the part we remind the most right so yeah that's really questionable um and there's a fourth possibility maybe i just drank too much so yeah guys what about you tell me what you think about it and uh, how did you discover plastic love the first time when was it did you discover it with this music video that would be interesting as well and yeah do you have any recommendation for any maria takeuchi's song that was it for today's review guys i hope you liked this video if you did i invite you to subscribe and to activate the bell so you don't miss any of my videos when i upload them now if you want to go further and have access to a much deeper and longer content you need to become a vip on my website leodargery.com when you become a vip member not only you get access to the early feed of all my public MV reactions and you get access to two exclusive reactions per month but you also gain the early and full access to the retrospectives. Once in a while I upload a retrospective on an artist that I love and that I know and I cover all his entire career. Note that the first month of subscription for the VIP membership is free. I'll see you around on my channel for another review or reaction very soon. Until then, as I always say, don't forget to make every day your birthday. Your